It's time. It's finally time. We are here for Super Bowl 56. Oh boy. Oozing, oozing, a matchup oozing of all sorts of intrigue, all sorts of different storylines, all sorts of crazy scenarios. And that's just how the NFL season this year has been, the 2021-2022 NFL season. It's been, it's been that crazy. And our two teams remaining in this fight for an NFL championship are the Cincinnati Bengals, looking to get their first ever Super Bowl. Remember, they lost twice, you know, to the 49ers back in the 80s. And the LA Rams, who have a Super Bowl already. I think they've lost another one as well. I forgot already. Uh, I forgot my statistics. Sorry. <laughs> but this right here, this right here, it's going to be one hell of a game. Let me tell you, it's going to be one hell of a game. From, from the way from the way everything has been, I, I don't think anybody expected these two teams to make it. Unless, unless you know, you, you were the Rams fans, you know, you were like, yeah, we got the team. We got, we got it built up to where we can make it. So, you know, this, this game right here is going to be really really interesting i think it'll be very high scoring now i read a line somewhere that it's going to be like a 3.5 favorite for the rams and i'm going to tell you guys right now i'm pulling for the rams in this game i i think you know sean McVay and company will win this game over zach taylor and the cincinnati Bengals. i'm just gonna say that right now but i want to break down the game before i even talk about you know you know what, what i think you know well, or at least what I want to happen in this game. But first and foremost, I just want a high-scoring, fun game, the most exciting game we can get because that's what the Super Bowl should be, the most exciting game we should get each and every year. And that's just how the NFL championship should be. We shouldn't have stinkers. We had some stinkers in the past. So, yeah. This one, this one again, is going to be really intriguing here. Of course, you have. You have an offense of the Rams with Matthew Stafford, of course, leading the way. Odell Beckham and Cooper Cup and a couple of backs, you know, like Sonny Michelle behind him, you know, with all the defensive side of the ball, you got Aaron Donald, Vaughn Miller, I mean, uh, Leonard Floyd. I mean, it's just a stack. Jalen Ramsey's just a stacked, stacked, stacked Rams defense, stacked Rams offense has all the intangibles there, but at the same time, there are weaknesses there. There has been holes poked in to the Rams at times this year. Again, Rams have had some games where they've looked really, really flat. They've had Matt, the biggest question again is gonna be Matthew Stafford. What kind of Matthew Stafford are we going to get? Are we gonna get the Matthew Stafford that can fling it, sling it, and crush it all over the field, or are we going to get the Matthew Stafford that throws pick sixes like it's nobody's business? That's the biggest question for the Rams. Biggest question there. Can Stafford, can the Rams keep it cool under pressure? That's my question for the Los Angeles Rams. And for the Cincinnati Bengals, this side, I mean, this is, this is a crazy, crazy feat for this team. Again, Joe Burrow. Joe Burr, Joe Shiesty, yeah, that guy, he's looking for, you know, he's already got a national championship, he's got a Heisman Trophy, he's looking to add a Super Bowl to his collection, and he's got a buddy, he's got he's got a buddy by the name of Jamar Chase who went with him, took a national championship with him, you know, they, they played together at LSU, they, 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 they're together, brothers, and not just him, not just Chase, oh boy, not him, not just him. You, you got guys like uh, C.J. Uzama, who may or may not be playing. You know, you got Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. Again, you know, you know, perfect contrast to, you know, the Odell Beckham, the Cooper, uh, the Bay of Jefferson. I forgot about Bay of Jefferson real quick because I'm stupid. But, again, this is one, one, one stacked offense, a stacked offense for the Bengals. Joe Mixon leading the way in the backfield. I mean, this is going to be crazy. And, it, and you got a defense with Trey Hendrickson, Mike Hilton. I mean, 
you know, not and Jesse Bates as well. You know, not as many guys. You know, not as many guys that stand out, but they make a cohesive unit. And for the Bengals, the Bengals' biggest question is going to be the biggest mismatch, and what I think will ultimately drive this game into the Rams' favor, which is the offensive line. I, I just don't see this O line holding up very well against the likes of Donald, the likes of. Von Miller, the likes of Wonder Floyd, the likes of other guys as well on that offense, or at all the defensive line, excuse me, you know, for the Rams. I just don't see it. I don't see it. But what I do see, I do see a game that will be high scoring. I do see that. I do see that. I do see that. I do see, you know, who, 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 depending on who you pick, you know, again, I'm picking the Rams. I think Cooper Cup might get the MVP or Aaron Donald, but if the Bengals win this game, Chase and Burrow, those two guys, join them at the hip. Those two guys could win MVP, and I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be, you know, mad at it. I'd, I'd be pretty damn happy about it. I, I would be very, very much happy about it. Um, again, the, the again, the biggest questions here: Can the Rams stay cool? Can the Bengals O line hold up for sixty minutes? That's good. That's the biggest questions here. You know. There's some other questions as well. You know, there's different X factors for both teams as well that can change the game at any time. You know, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it all comes down to this. Yeah, I know the NFL honors and stuff like that and the Hall of Fame and everything like that and all the different awards and stuff. And all that has happened. And, you know, uh, the craziness with the Washington Commanders. I use that, you know, very loosely, but I mean, that's the name of the team now. I mean, that's been spoiled to us all, so I just want to, you know, get that out the way as we you know, continue to roll on into the off season once the season is over. And uh, I cannot thank all of y'all so much, or uh, I cannot thank all of y'all so much enough to where we've been able to, you know, continue to do this every year, you know, because I believe this is my second year doing this. Yeah, second, second or third year, but I wanted to get this out. You know, I tried to get this out. You know, early. You know, early in the day, but I realized, you know, I had to work and everything like that. So I just wanted to let y'all know that's what that's what the holdup was. Is you know me working. That was the holdup. That was the biggest holdup here, and it's unfortunate. But I mean, it, work has to be done. I need my money. So I need my money, baby. I need my money. So. That is going to do it for, you know, the preview of Super Bowl 56. Again, I think the Rams will win. I just don't think it'll be by like three and a half because I know that's what one line said. I'm not sure what the updated line says. I think it'll be less than that. I think it'll be like two and a half. Yeah, you know, the Rams will win by at least the point. The point total will be like over 48 and a half by, by now. It'll be like more than 48 and a half. I, that's what I'm estimating. You know, I'm, I'm thinking it, sh it should be around like 60. It really should be. I, I, that's that's kind of what I want here. But I know it's going to be probably under that. But, I mean, at, at the end of the day. I'm excited because, you know, there's a, 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 there's other storylines as well for the Super Bowl. Like Al Michaels, is he done with the NFL? You know, potentially after this game. You know, we know Michelle Toy is done as well. So, NBC, you know, got to get some gotta get something done, you know, with replacing well, I mean, they got their replacements ready already, but I mean, you know, that's that's another storyline in and of itself. Of course, you know, the off season is coming, so once the Super Bowl ends, we'll have a couple of off season videos, of course, right here on the channel. I don't expect them too quickly, though. Expect them when the time comes. So, with all that being said, I'm gonna let you guys skedaddle, and I hope you all enjoy your weekend because. We're going to be right back here early Sunday and then late Sunday. Early Sunday, we got to talk college basketball. Late, right after the Super Bowl, we got to discuss what the hell went on in Super Bowl 56. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for coming on the journey with me once again. You know, I know I don't have everything in, in store and everything like that. I don't have everything. I don't have all the notes and stuff like that. But what I do have is y'all. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, 
click the notification bell do what you need to do to stay here on this channel and come back on Sunday good night good afternoon good evening good uh, good morning whatever you want you know whenever you're watching I'll see you then on Sunday take care boy sports signing out